The village of Nimalakunta, situated near Dharmavaram, the silk city of Andhra Pradesh, is known for the craft of leather puppetry. Traditionally known as Tolu Bommalata, where Tolu means leather and Bommalata means puppet dance, it began as a folk art used to make shadow puppets. It is believed that Tolu Bommalata is amongst the oldest shadow puppet traditions in the world. The puppeteers of Nimalakunta belong to the Chitrakara community and have been practicing this craft for over 300 years. Nimalakunta is a very good place to live in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world Ma, padahal tu, guru tu apa tu, wakku guru tu ni lelu, wakku jilalah ni lelu. Prati jilalah tu tinggi, prati wakku cote, prati wakku jilalah tu tinggi, walau nanti kalau ada walau. Andra leather puppets are the largest and most mobile. The average size of the puppets is about five to six feet. To achieve mobility in characters, the various parts of the body are cut out separately. Ranu, Ranu, ya ma, ma fadil, ma, na, mu, na anu ko termunci, ikhlas ini malu kuda, antara kunci, ini ikhlas tapi kunci, kini ni cepat dah gani, ma fadil itu asal, ini malu kuda ni, dada buka, buka arwah ini dah beri mulu, saya ni undai, wanita, ayam pun, bandu bulu, mitra bulu, anggur buka arwah ini dah beri mulu, ini malu kuda tapi kunci lah, apud modal dia ma, kaya ille ini 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 ni, ma na anu garu, ma tata garu. The craft of leather puppetry reached its peak during the reign of Krishnadevaraya of the Vijayanagar Empire, who ruled during the early 16th century. We can take the reference of the oldest book of uh, which was published in, from Bandras in the university, where they have talked about Sruti and Smriti, which is one of the oldest method in Veda. It is also mentioned in the Veda, that was the process through which our education process was went through. So, Sruti and Smriti means, Sruti means listen and Smriti means remember. So, the generation-wise, this show was transferred from one generation to another generation. In the present scenario, now, these epic shows are not that much important and a lot of digital medias are here. So, slowly, slowly, this heritage are diluting. In 1980, the government trained the artisans to diversify into lampshades and wall partitions to cope with the changing market demands. Many younger male members of the village are also dependent on other occupations such as farming, painting temples and transporting sand to nearby areas. The home processed leathers are more expensive and time consuming while preparing. With government restrictions to preserve wildlife, artisans were introduced to processed leather which is cleaner and more refined. The Ustad scheme is a central sector scheme of the Ministry of Minority Affairs which was launched in 2015-16 and uh, Ustad stands for uh, upgrading the skills and training in traditional arts and crafts for development. Uh, the National Institute of Design has been a knowledge partner of the scheme since it was launched. Now the objective of that was that we, the old design we request and ready in the next design interventions so that the art form with 
without losing its intrinsic traditional value can sell and the, the, basically the end idea was that the artisans can get livelihood their income can increase we have highlighted the skill which we have in terms of brand because if you see these are all home businesses the women and men jointly work together at home so we have highlighted and we have taken that as a strength and through that we have modified our brand. so our one task was uh, making them to learn many more skills along with their own skill and they come up with a new product so one of the important uh, task we perform uh, in the workshop is uh, bringing them into small teams okay understanding their own skills understanding their limitations and plus points we made them uh, teams of three people and uh, each team has given a name of a river okay like uh, krishna godavari narmada like that we given the name so by making this the artisans also felt little bit proud okay they are given a name of a river okay that they are familiar with and uh, they are also like you know doing a team work okay so everybody is contributing to make the product some of their uh, on like uh, uh, myth okay we can do only this not beyond that that we could be able to like you know change in this workshop what we have observed that 70% are women and remaining 30% are men so one of the aims of the scheme is to be as inclusive as possible within the community and for this we have been targeting uh including women as part of the workshops that are conducted in the field and also bringing women to uh the workshop that is conducted in NID and we've seen that for some women it's the first time that they've been away from their uh their home their you know their home state or even their village in some cases uh this has been particularly successful in many clusters including the uh, leather puppetry cluster of Nimala Kunta so they were not uh, familiar with uh, working with bamboo okay so one of the first thing in the first workshop what we did is introducing them bamboo skills then the application of bamboo along with the uh, uh, leather okay this was very important earlier for structural purpose they were using metal so in this workshop uh, maximum 90% the structural material what we used is bamboo it is more sustainable and eco friendly natural material than using a metal rod before i have to strive myself to convey the techniques to that kind of people but this time they were so easy because they were they were practicing this the fine lines and everything and all things and especially they are dealing with this fine material too so that experience helped them to accept our directions in right way one of the key interventions was introducing bamboo as a structural material which the artisans adapted to quickly using bamboo is a small step towards helping the artisans be self reliant ante uh, process late avutadi ipudu marketing lo sonta pan cheyala nenu sonta english lo cheyala kada intlo andarki raadu kada andukoru anta late process late aitadi idi marketing isukona valante anta samasya aitadi dantlo idi chese etyo baagundayi dantle vachesante packing problem vastadi so in this workshop we initiated telling them okay uh, start making foldable product okay not necessary everything you have to send it in the same form we have made many lamp shade but some of the lamp shade uh, we made foldable for example like you no know, you can see it is a circle okay it's a circle with a simple pattern now i just push this okay so it uh, become a suddenly become a 3d form a flat uh, circle it become a 3d form uh, range of product has been thought similarly uh, like you know, which could be foldable and the transportation or packing of the product will be like you no know, more uh, feasible for the people a range of new products such as storage boxes lamp shades wall installations clocks magazine racks screen divider were developed during these workshops sarvalu kuda me first drawing 
ఈ పెయింటింగ్ ఒక్కటే చేసేదాన్ని నేను ఇక్కడ ఉస్తాద్ ట్రైనింగ్లో ఈ ట్రైనింగ్కి వచ్చినప్పటి నుంచి ఒక డిజైన్ డిజైన్ ఒక డిజైనర్ ఎలా డిజైన్ చేయాలి ఈ డిజైన్ చేసిన తర్వాత దీనికి ఏ కలర్ వేస్తే బాగుంటుంది అనే మెంటాలిటీ కూడా మాకు సార్ వాళ్ళు నేర్పించారు నచ్చింది చెప్తాను బాగా నచ్చిందేమో బాగా నచ్చింది ఇప్పుడు లెదర్కు తోడుగా ఇప్పుడు చూసేదానికి ఇది ఉండాలి లోపల కడ్డీ లేదు కదా కనపడదు కదా ఇది మాటింటుంది ఇట్లాంటివైతే చేసుకుంటాం ఇట్లాంటివన్నీ చేసుకొని మనం మార్కెట్కి పోతాం నేను చెప్తానే అప్పుడు ఒక్కొక్కరు ఒక్కొక్క మాడలు ఇచ్చినప్పుడు మేము ఒక్కొక్కటి ఒక ప్రాసెస్ మార్కెట్కి కొండపోతాం ప్రోగ్రాం వచ్చినప్పుడు ఒక ప్రాసెస్ మార్కెట్లో పెడతాం అది యాది సేల్ బాగా అయితే దాన్ని యూజ్ చేస్తాం New explorations were also done in form and motif development. Towards the end of the workshops, bamboo plantations were done to take a step towards making bamboo a part of the natural ecosystem of the village. When you are adding a sustainable material to leather, it also adds more value to the products. So that is what NID team had tried in the Malakonda. The workshops gave a space for the community of puppeteers to be involved in a process of collaboration and co-creation with the NID design team. With these workshops, we saw a new spirit rise among the artisan community. We hope that this encourages them to nurture their ancient craft practice of Tolu Bommalata and take it to new heights.